everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun 2013. If you ride motorcycles and you fly airplanes, you may sometimes find yourself lusting after the kind of technological innovations that we see in the motorcycle industry. Well, a company behind me called MW Fly, they're an Italian company, has leveraged some of that technology into small four-cylinder engines for the aircraft industry, mainly experimental and they're hoping to make some inroads in the U.S. This is the first time they've shown in the U.S. So let's take a look at some of these engines with uh, Guido Fantini of MW Fly. MW Fly uh, was born, was founded in uh, uh, 1995 and uh, is an engineering company uh, that can work, uh, that work uh, with uh, the main uh, manufacturer in, uh, involved in car developing and motorcycle developing. We have uh, actually, we have produced uh, 75 engines. Uh, we start production at the beginning of uh, 2011. And uh, uh, so this is our first time in the US. So this is the occasion, the occasion to present our new engine and this is called uh, B22. Uh, we have uh, power uh, from uh, 115 horsepower to 150 horsepower with the same core and the same weight and same dimensions. Our engine adopts a gearbox uh, to obtain uh, big power, high power with low propeller RPM. This is an advantage for noise uh, and for efficiency of uh, traction. And a problem with gear at the engine is uh, absorb the torsional vibration on, on propeller axis. Normally you find on uh, the um, gear at the engine a clutch or a dog hub on propeller axis, but with this displacement and uh, so we have another philosophy. Uh, we follow the principle to reduce uh, the torsional vibration, not to absorb the torsional vibration. So our system consists uh, in changing the compression ratio. We do that uh, uh, varying uh, pos the position of this pin by hydraulic pressure. And you have to imagine as a um, principle that uh, this pin push on tapper of uh, valve when the piston comes up for compression. So the effectiveness uh, of uh, stroke is on half the normal. The compression stroke is re has reduced uh, on half. And that's why we have in power set, in power set 10.5 to 1 of compression ratio and in idle set 5.5 to 1 of compression ratio. So by gear we move a secondary shaft and the ratio is a 1 to 1.66 and the secondary shaft uh, moves the chain for timing. This is uh, an advantage because the uh, total number of cycle of work cycle of the chain has reduced and we can uh, improve the life of the chain. We use actually one injector per two cylinder with a special strategy uh, improved by MW Fly. Uh, it consists in changing the injection phase during the motion of the pistons and that's why we can have only one injector per two cylinder and uh, so this is an advantage, uh, an advantage for uh, simplicity and reliability. The engine is fully water cooled uh, that means that uh, you only have to worry about the flow in the water radiator you don't have to install any duct for uh, uh, cylinder cooling and this is a big advantage and you also have not to install oil cooler because we use uh, a composite crankshaft with ball bearings and needle bearings for connecting rod so the oil pressure is very low we work uh, uh, almost uh, at uh, tw 28 uh, psi, below 28 psi, 
and uh, also uh, don't uh, don't having uh, plain bearing uh, the the work for oil is very low so there is no oil heating and this is the reason why we have no oil cooler we don't need an oil cooler also on a helicopter application we had never have mounted oil coolers